I'm pretty sure these teachers are working with Baldy, so I'm gonna try to get them fired. Welcome to school. We're gonna try and get our teacher to get fired. I, I have a whole plan. I have a maniacal evil plan to get Sergeant Jughead fired, or at least get him to, to quit. How do I do that? I think I just irritate the heck out of him. My plan is to irritate him to the point where he does something that's gonna get him in trouble, and therefore he loses his job. He's gotta keep it cool, but it's hard to keep it cool when you get cupcakes thrown at the back of your head over and over and over. Uh, what? What? Um. Okay, I just uh, had him eaten by uh, some eyeballs. We'll, we'll just assume those were eyeballs. There were definitely not any sharp teeth attached to those eyeballs. Also, I think that my dog got a hold of this hat at some point. Cause it, look, it's got like a little, it's like, it's like chewed on. Stinker. Anyways, um, let's let's throw stuff at everything. I mean, I, I love that the guy's got a bat. Why does he have a bat in his classroom? What is happening in here? I kind of forget how to play this game. It's been a very long time. Um, but I do remember you collect these stars and then you use these stars to get new items. And then with those new items, you then earn more stars. That's basically the, the loop. And you also get to turn your teacher into a pile of powder. With the power of lightning. And who doesn't love a little bit of that? The, oh my gosh. Okay, so the next thing that we can get is $4,700. We can get a pet snake as well. This is a lot, as you might imagine. But if I throw enough cupcakes at the bat, what happens? Does something different happen? If we anger the teacher through the power of bats? Oh, he's gonna get pooped on. Yep, saw that coming. All right, he's having a great day. I think he's he's really just really living his best life. Okay, what about the error on the computer? Our end goal, you can see it in the upper left-hand corner, is that sad meter. We want that sad meter to get all the way across the top of that bar. And at that point, Sergeant Jughead here I don't know what he's gonna do, honestly. That's half the fun, is just finding out how mad will he truly get. I mean, why did they send a drill sergeant in? I must be a very bad student. Now that I'm thinking about it, I am a very bad student. I'm throwing cupcakes in the classroom. And, um, Sergeant Jughead just turned into a bat. Honestly, at that point, I feel like he should never come back. He should go live his best life. He's a Batman. He could make a very good living being a bat man. Not like fighting crime, but like flying. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Not a lot of people can do that. I'm just gonna throw the cupcake straight at the back of his head. How much money did we wanna save up? Do we have enough? I think we have enough for our next upgrade. I should get my next upgrade. Cause I think I've turned him into a pile of ash a, a few too many times. Yeah, 4700 for whatever this is. What is this? This is a it's a stack of jello? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so I get 36 stars every time I throw a cupcake at the stack of jello, which is I do have to say very satisfying. Cupcake versus giant jello tower. Oh. Oh. You Oh! It wasn't actually until recently that I actually got to use one of those crazy tube-like things. Have you ever gone through a drive-thru for a pharmacy? Yeah, do your disco thing, Sergeant Jughead. They use those. They use those crazy tubes. I'd never done that before. It was very, very fun, very exciting. I was actually a little scared because I was like, what if the thing turns on and my arm's still in there? It's just gonna suck my arm right off. Will no longer have an arm. That would be a cool way to lose an arm, though. Actually, would it be a cool way to lose an arm? Maybe not. Maybe not the coolest way to lose an arm. I have disappeared. Oh no! I've turned him into a very tiny man. How'd you lose your arm? Oh, I was chopping down a 200-year-old tree. 
thing snagged a, a, a branch and fell right back on my arm. Took it right off. I just had to rip my, my arm right out from underneath that lumber. Another guy is like, yeah, I was fighting a shark. I was out surfing. Punched it in the nose, but then it grabbed my other arm. That's okay. I punched it in the nose again, and I lived to see another day. And then there's me. Oh, I um, I went to the pharmacy drive through and I, I put my, my credit card in the thing to get my prescription, and then for whatever reason, the door closed on my arm, and then it just it sucked my arm right into the tube. It was really, really a bad situation, but I'm a tough guy. It just doesn't have the same same tough guyness to it. Okay, so not the greatest way to lose an arm. Anyways, I don't know why I'm still talking about losing arms. This dude just froze and then cloned himself. So clearly they are cloning these teachers in the back. I'm still heavily convinced that Baldi is involved with this, right? He has to be. He's like the leader of evil teacher university, right? Also, I'm throwing cupcakes at a snake, which feels kind of bad. Cause like, what did the snake do? He's just, he's just hanging out. Maybe he likes the cupcakes. Like he's, he's getting a nice sweet treat. He's actually getting covered in a sweet treat. There's another clone, Sergeant Jughead, just throwing another one. It's very weird. How much money do I need to make to get to the, my next level? I don't actually know. Let me check real quick. Okay, 8,500 for a robot, which seems very cool, by the way. Weapons, okay, we can get a plate for 8,500, that's a lot. They're all 8,500, okay. I, I definitely want the plate. I, I love that we've angered uh, Sergeant, I was gonna call him Captain Jughead, which actually sounds kind of fun. But I love that we've angered Sergeant Jughead so much that he has to dance. That is, that is his solution to the problem. Oh, it's the first teacher. You guys are just gonna growl at me like a bunch of rabid dogs? What, really? That That's the worst you could do to me? Also, didn't the other teacher, didn't she quit? She came back for more? I thought I convinced her to, to quit. Or did I get her fired? I don't know. Uh, maybe that's a clone. It's the whole cloning thing. Baldy, he's up to no good. It shouldn't take too long to get to 8,500. Also, his sad gauge, or I don't know what you want to call it, his anger meter um, is almost halfway there. So I think that when we get his anger meter to max, uh, that's where something terrible will happen to him and his job. And then they'll just throw in a clone of Sergeant Jughead, who hasn't been through all of the terrible things that I've put him through. Oh, that is not good for you. Listen, I had nothing to do with the tentacle monsters, okay? I throw cupcakes for a living. That's what I do. When the octopus squid monster comes into play, that's that's a whole different ball game. That, I, again, Pretty sure that's Baldi's doing. He's messing around with genetically modified squid. He's he's building a kraken or something. I think that we have enough for a plate. Let's do it. Weapons, plate. Oh, the slingshot. Oh my gosh. Look at how many things there are though. We're not even halfway done with collecting all of the items. Just in that one category. Remember there's two other categories. Holy moly. Okay, we're getting 49 stars every time we throw a plate at the snake. I think that's the most effective. But uh, you know what? Actually, I should start throwing it at the Jello Tower. Let's try the Jello Tower. Or we could just try the back of Captain Jughead's neck. And yes, I called him Ch Captain Jughead, not Sergeant Jughead. Because Captain, for some reason, it just sounds funnier to me. Like Captain Crunch. Oh, that's a bomb. You gonna get blown up, my guy? You better move. He's not gonna move. <laughs> it's all right. Send in another clone. We're good. Sure, we're running out of Sergeant Jughead clones. Maybe that's what that meter is. Maybe that is the point where they've used up all the Sergeant Jughead clones. Go after the Jello. <laughs> it's so jiggly. Okay, so no matter where I throw the plates, I'm always getting 49, which is good. That's basically a hundred stars for two plates. And you can see how quickly we collect stars. It's very nice, but I do want that robot. That's definitely next on my list. Although, I mean, oh man, 
it's hard to say like is it better to focus on one category and just try to unlock as much as we can in that one category or do we want to like diversify what we're unlocking because i'm pretty sure the next weapon that we can unlock which is the slingshot is like 14,000 stars that's a lot but if i upgrade to the robot and then i throw the plate at the robot don't i get more stars than i would if i just kept like throwing the plates until i got to the slingshot it's a whole thing it's quite a conundrum look at this there's so many okay give me the robot <laughs> The next thing is just poop. A poop emoji. Okay, chuck it at the robot. So uh, I feel bad, but I am gonna keep throwing plates at a robot. And you you can see what I'm talking about. So now we're getting 56 stars every time I throw a plate at the robot. But the question is, is it more valuable to keep upgrading a single object? Or do you want to, you know, split it up between all the different options that you have? I, I really don't have the answer. Maybe it just doesn't matter. I mean, it would be pretty funny to have a a poop emoji on the on the teacher's desk. That'd be pretty good. We're a little over halfway past his his rage gauge. Oh, that's the that's what I should have been calling it from the get go. The rage gauge. That's perfect. What I call it before the 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 mado meter. I mean, that's pretty good too. I don't think I called it that before because. I feel like I would have remembered that, but oh, this is definitely the rage gauge. Let's save up to whatever it is, 14,000 or something like that, so that we can get ourselves a little poop emoji. I kind of feel bad throwing a plate at a robot, especially a cute robot like that. I mean, like, what did he do? He's just standing there. So let's change it up a little bit and throw plates at poop. Gross. Why do you keep drinking that, that chemical? Do I, it's, it's Batman. Um, do I really bring him to the point of so much anger that he just has to drink random liquids? That's not my problem. I feel like I'm not really the problem here. Yes, I am throwing plates at things that will inevitably make you upset, but like, I'm not the one who's ultimately putting you in giant vacuum tubes or sending tentacle monsters or making you drink green chemicals that turn you into an ant-sized man. Okay, I may have been involved with this one though. That, 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 that might be on me. The eyeballs are gonna eat him. Get, uh, bird pooped? <laughs> that bird could have gone anywhere, but it went right there. And I think that that is something that I was probably involved with. 14,500. Okay, so we're we're getting close. Just a thousand more. Almost there. Almost there. Give me the poop emoji. Okay, we're we're at the amount that we need. We just have to watch him get eaten by some eyeballs. What do you think these are? I, I'm gonna go with lions. No, I'm gonna go with bears. No, I'm gonna go with mole rats. I don't even know what a mole rat is, but it sounds funny. Give me the poop. It's literally a poop on the table. <laughs> All right. That was a good investment. That was a very good investment. It's a very happy poop emoji that makes a fart noise every time I throw a plate at it. If you got this playing on the TV right now, you're welcome. You're welcome to everybody who's in the living room. This is the kind of top shelf, high quality, classy comedy that you get over here at Kindly Kian. You're welcome. <laughs> Throwing plates of poop and the poop makes fart noise. Yep. Okay, so if I throw it, okay, so it, it really, really does not matter what you upgrade. It just matters that you continue to upgrade because basically, when you upgrade one thing, it upgrades the amount of stars that you get for everything. So it's like a universal upgrade. And we can throw plates at a snake, get 63. Throw plates at the back of Sergeant Jughead, sorry, Captain Jughead's 
Neck, no problem. I, actually, I'm starting to think this man doesn't have a neck. He's just a head, a body, and he doesn't have a torso. Head, body, legs. That's it. That's what makes up Captain Jughead. And of course, we can throw plates at a sad poop emoji. Give it a little smile. Brighten up that poop's day. Look at how sad that poop is. Here, you want a plate? Yeah, he does. The mole rat attack. What if they were actually just like guinea pigs? That's pretty funny too. Killer guinea pigs? What is the next animal on our list of animals that exist in this classroom? Let's go to upgrades. Pets. It's a, it's a crab. You know what? Get that crab. Welcome to the team. I, I feel bad throwing a plate at him, but he doesn't seem to be too bothered by it. He just kind of does his little clippy thing. Pinch, pinch, pinch. You know how crabs do. But I think I understand the best strategy. And it's like, I mean, it's a game about throwing plates at objects in a classroom. But here's my strategy. Upgrade stuff as soon as you can. That's basically what it boils down to. We definitely wasted some time by not upgrading the crab sooner. But at least we learned. And this dude is very close to doing something that's gonna get him fired. I'm pretty sure we have to get to 14,500 again. And Sergeant Jughead's just gonna dance out all that anger. His rage gauge is so close. Oh my gosh, come on. Let's do this. You know what the crazy thing is? This guy is, is a soldier, right? Like he's literally a soldier. He's seen some stuff, but we're gonna get him to quit his job teaching. Send him back to the army. Where he gets treated better. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what that says about me or him. It probably says a lot more about me. We are very close to being able to upgrade. Here we go. Upgrade. What do we get? I'm not getting rid of my poop. For a clock? I mean, eventually I'm gonna have to do that. Oh, an elephant. Oh, this little tiny elephant stuck in a cage. That makes me sad. And now I'm throwing plates at it? All right, I'm going back to the poop. The poop likes getting plates thrown at it. That elephant, that elephant looks uncomfortable, to say the very least. This was Jughead's idea. Putting an elephant in a tiny cage like that? What's wrong with you, man? You deserve to lose this job, all right? You don't belong here. Plus, you've taught me nothing. What is this formula you have on the chalkboard? What is that? What do any of those things mean? This is like advanced physics. What are you what are you teaching me? I'm like I'm like 8 years old. I'm in 3rd grade, dude. I'm not ready for this. Even if I wasn't in 3rd grade, I would still not be ready for this. In fact, as an actual adult, I can safely say that I would never be ready for whatever it is he's drawing on the on the chalkboard. And that's all he does. I'm starting to think that he's not a teacher. Oh, this is it. The rage gauge. Maximum rage gauge. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get mad at me. I know you wanna. Get mad. Rage. Maximum rage. Let's do this. Max rage? Oh, we're doing it. Oh, he quit! He quit! I love it. Boom! Defeated! Who's next? Who are they gonna send that's worse than a drill sergeant? I guess we're about to find out. Okay. Professor Bumfluff. What a name. What a name. Oh, we're making Bumfluff. Bum leave. You know it. I'm sorry, Bum Fluff. You should have worn a helmet today. Because the back of your head is not looking so good. What is that? It's an alien. You, you brought aliens with you? What's wrong with you? I think... I think Professor Bum Fluff might actually be an alien. Which is actually terrifying. Uh, can I upgrade my weapon? Yes, I can. I can get the slingshot! And then I can get a light bulb. Okay. <laughs> I love that! Look, the, the, the little the slingshot in the in the foreground there. That's really cool. Um, oh, you're bringing all the teachers back, huh? 
okay? You guys are just gonna growl at me and then move on with your lives. It's weird. I love that they go from like angry, grumpy old lady, right? That's teacher number one. I don't even remember her name. Oh gosh, we have a countdown. It's a bomb. Okay, um, maybe Bumfluff isn't uh, an alien after all. Maybe he's actually a robot. He's an alien robot. That's it. Yep. But I love that they sent us like grumpy old lady and then they sent us a literal drill sergeant. And now they send us like a dorky professor who might actually just be an alien. I just, I don't feel like they've escalated properly. I feel like the drill sergeant really should have been the end of the line. Like that's, that's put you in your place kind of attitude. Also just chickens strolling through the classroom, huh? Okay. Weird. Just gonna keep slingshotting right into the back of his head. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a big spider. That is two big spiders. Bumfluff, you a fan of spiders? Uh, I would say not. <laughs> I'm gonna start launching these at the poop. I really don't want to get rid of the poop, but I have to. We have to upgrade it into a clock. Oh, a penguin. Oh, a, a whole. It's Happy Feet. Start dancing. You guys ever seen Happy Feet? The A! It is. It really is happy feet. Dancing penguins. I love it. Oh, he's drinking the, the green juice. Turned him into a slug. Or maybe that turned him into like his true form, right? Like he drank some kind of weird liquid to turn into a human. And then he drank a weird liquid again and it like erased the transformation. Really big foot. 22,000 I think is what we're aiming for right now. I'm sorry, I gotta go back to the back of your head because it's not as stinky, I hope. Pets, what do we got? What do we got for pets? A fox is so cute, can't do that. I will get the light bulb, but I need 500 more. Okay, he's gonna drink the juice again. Is it gonna turn you back into your real form? Yep, sure is. Really intimidating alien too, just a slug. Okay, now I have enough. Let's upgrade to the light bulb, boom. Oh, what? You see the next weapon strip, shurikens? I wanna kill someone with that thing. They don't do that. I do like the idea of throwing light bulbs at a poop emoji, though. I also like the idea of throwing light bulbs at the back of this professor's head, too. I mean, they're all, they're all equally funny. But shurikens, I hope that they're just like rubber. The way that he kills that alien eyeball is telling me that that's not the first time he's dealt with alien eyeballs. It's just, it's just a little weird that he's so nonchalant about. Oh, what is happening? We've been sent to another dimension. <laughs> All right. Send in a new sergeant. No, not sergeant. Professor Bumfluff. Get me another Bumfluff clone. Hello, chickens. Goodbye, chickens. Enjoy the rest of your day. Whoa! I thought he was just gonna turn into a slug. My guy turned into an 8-bit video game. What is this? Some kind of just pull string? Yeah, go, have, go for it. Nothing bad will happen. Um... Okay, that was weird. All right, I have to get the fox. And I will throw a light bulb at it, but only for science. Okay, I hate myself for doing that. I'm never doing that again. How could I do something so terrible? Seriously, don't throw light bulbs at adorable animals. It's really messed up. Also, don't throw light bulbs at the back of your teacher's head. If you want to throw light bulbs at poop emojis, I won't stop you. What is this? It's an invisible person. <laughs> All right. 
All right, so I finally had to replace the poop for a clock, which is not nearly as satisfying. I mean, if the clock made a fart noise, that would be pretty good. But no, it has to make a, a clock noise, like a normal clock, whatever. But the next upgrade is shurikens. Yes, throwing stars. That seems unbelievably dangerous. I mean, throwing a light bulb, that, that's pretty dangerous too. <laughs> shards of glass and whatnot, but a shuriken, like, that's a ninja assassin. That's what they use to do ninja assassinating. I just feel like it's a little extreme. Either way, we're gonna do it. The, 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 the way that he just like judo pokes the, the eyeball to death is very scary. Maybe this guy is a lot tougher than I give him credit for. I know we were messing around with a, a drill sergeant, but I mean, this guy took out an alien eyeball without even batting an eye. Just boop. Booped it. And I will say, his rage gauge, it doesn't fill up very fast. He definitely has a higher tolerance for rage. How much money do I actually need for the shuriken? 34,000. Okay, so we're very close. And 34k. Okay, against my better judgment, I'm gonna purchase this and then throw it at my teacher's head. <laughs> I, was, I mean, it, it's just the the ding sound that it makes is very funny. And also it kind of adds to the idea that my professor, Bum Fluff, Flum, Flum Fluff Bum, what's his name? I don't know. He's a robot or he's got a metal skull. Super sus. He's also kind of shaped like an Among Us. One hour later. I have finally earned enough stars to upgrade our weapon. And I'm pretty sure it's a watermelon. It's a watermelon. <laughs> Just gonna throw an entire watermelon in the back of my teacher's head. As one does. Oh, also I got a lamp. So there you go, and an iguana. He seems pretty happy with some watermelon. Uh, iguanas love watermelon. Even if it's the whole watermelon being thrown at them. Uh, our professor here, Professor Fluffy Bum. What is Bum Fluff? I don't know his name. Professor with a funny name uh, is about to meet the max level rage gauge. And I'm pretty sure at that point, he's done. He's roasted, toasted, and... and uh, f f uh, uh, blosted. I didn't know how to finish that sentence, so I, I made up a word. You're welcome. You enjoying your watermelon, Professor? You're a robot, straight up. We know it. You know it. Everybody knows it. Even the invisible man who just walked in your room and drank your juice knows you're an alien robot. I think this'll be it. As soon as we fill up the electric gauge, which I don't have a name for, you know what? Maybe that's the Madometer, and then the top one is the Rage Gauge. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. I am the greatest teacher, uh, force quitter to ever exist. A new teacher unlocked. Who is it? Um, Madame Pudding, huh? All right. Is she made of pudding? Doesn't matter. I've done my job. 